What is up guys? Welcome to another musky video here and uh, just before we get started with today's video I got some musky mail today, but before we get started with that Meet Mint! Heidi and I got a new kitten. This is Mint. She's about, I don't know, about six weeks old. Heidi's sister found him and uh, down down near Madison and he, she is just the most friendliest little kitten ever and uh, it's ours now. <laughs> she is a uh, a new member to the Jarnigo family, so there's Mint. Mint, say hello to all of today's angler people. Man, she's tired. She was just napping. But yeah, I got some musky mail today. I'm just gonna do a little quick unboxing. Um, I was kind of lacking in colors for blades and rubber for the 715. I'm not a big color guy, but I don't know, last year taught me, since you don't get as much action from fish, um, you start thinking about color more. And uh, that's kind of what I did. So just show you guys kind of the, what I got. What I got from Rick, um, I don't know. Color probably doesn't matter, but uh, you just gotta be confident. And um, I have a lot of white colors, which, you know, we love throwing. But I wanted to try some more natural looking, you know, Northern Wisconsin. We got bluegills, crappies, and perch as our main bait. So that's kind of what I ordered. So I got a, quite a few bucktails up in my bucktail games, quite a bit. Um, this is one of my favorite color combos that uh, Rick makes, East Texas Salt makes. This is a double eight. That's that killer corn uh, color. It's got a green blade, kind of green olive looking with a copper blade. And that just looks so good in our stained water. Um, that's, I don't know, I didn't have any, I really don't, didn't have any double eights. So this will be perfect. Some smaller bucktails, double eights. Did not have many of those. Here's another killer color, gang green. This is a double eight as well. Two of kind of olive-ish, greenish. It's got green on the tips. I know in Madison our lakes get green and uh, this was a killer combo back then when I fished down there more often. Um, that's kind of where this, this blade color got started for you know catching muskies. Here's one that I've never used before and this thing just looks so dang good. This is the double R color. This is a 10-9 bucktail. Got that hook in front, hook in the bottom. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much a gold blade with that right around it. This blade, this combo looks so flipping good. Uh, I'm pumped about it. I think uh, I'm going to throw this tonight. Here's the final 715-ish color that I ordered from Rick. Um, here's a single 8 River Magic color. Just kind of, there's some orange on it. It's kind of a copper blade. Uh, that's a nice, beautiful single eight bucktail. I'm pretty pumped about this little guy as well. I don't know. That's just, I'm not a big color guy, but I don't know. I wanted some more natural looking baits. Something I didn't really have in my tackle box. So that's all the, the blade colors I got. I got some different, you know, variations. Some double nines, 109s, double eights. Kind of all I got in the blades section, but got some rubber. I got some, some newer rubber baits that you know I never really throw much it's usually white bright colors um, which I love but I'm gonna mix it up here's a mid Medusa Eagle Lake color got that black gold tail kind of gold in the in the body you can't go wrong with black right mint mint's black she likes black right <laughs> she's so cute got another black looking bait here so this is a 2021 color a show color black penny Kind of a copper bottom with black on the sides, uh, copper scales. This looks so magical. Um, what's next is the natural perch. This color looks awesome. Awesome white belly, a little bit of orange, green, with some perch bars. Uh, I'm liking this one. I think this is going to be one of my killers this year. Here's an oldie but a goodie. Uh, I've got a few of these, but this is the, the old Turd Ferguson. This was a show color, I don't know, about three years ago, and this thing absolutely crushed in the Northwoods. Brown baits, black baits. Here's another cool one, yellowish, greenish bait. This is their bullfrog color. Yeah, just all natural stuff. Something I really haven't thrown much in the past. I don't know. It's gonna be more confidence for me throwing some more natural looking colors up here. This is also a new 2021 show color. They're on the website still. Um, this is the Sun of Tequila color. Yellow, gold, black head. What more do you want? Uh, what else? Oh yeah, here's a, I didn't even know this was an option. Here is a six and three quarter mini X uh, white tiger. 
it's got that metal lip on it, so you don't have to worry about this breaking at all. Uh, this is going to be a beautiful nighttime bait because I think with the next couple of weeks weather, we're going to be nocturnal mode. Um, but yeah, six and three quarter. I was using the eight inch last year, but this this size looks a little more. I don't know. I'm liking it. I like a little more smaller profile on my twitch baits. But uh, yeah, that's uh, just wanted to show you guys what kind of colors I just got. Um, Huge shout out to Chaos Tackle, awesome company. Um, I've caught some of my biggest muskies ever on their products, so I stand by them. Um, caught my biggest one ever on a Medusa, so two of, my, two of my biggest fish on Medusa. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these products that i just shown, I'll leave all the links in the description below. But uh, enough talking, let's get fishing. Let's stick a giant new moon muskie tonight. I'm pumped, I can't wait to get out with Willen. I haven't seen him since my wedding, believe it or not. Um, I'm pumped about this evening. Hopefully uh, a big girl will fall. Well guys, uh, you just saw that unboxing of some awesome new lures. I may have mentioned that I was fishing with Chris Whelan that night, but uh, it's been about a couple weeks since that's happened. <laughs> <laughs> Muskies have absolutely kicked their butts. Um, losing them. Uh, Willie and I went out that night, lost four of Medusas, and uh, would have been a cool little show. But anyways, my dad's up in the Northwoods. Yeah, I'm going to take care of it. You're going to take care <laughs> of it tonight. I like it. <laughs> but yeah, we just got an afternoon. Boat one fish. Um, finally had some cool weather come through the north woods and finally got some nice safe water temperatures. It's go time. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get the first muskie in the boat for my <laughs> <Yeah>. dad. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, we'll have my dad throw some gangrene double eights. These are brand new. Get to throw the first cast on a brand new lure. Let's see if that works, huh? Yeah. All righty, spinning uh, look, good. Won't pull too hard. Yeah, That's I good. love that. We'll do this all day. <laughs> we'll do this all day. Lock that drag down a bit. And I am going to get the shock and R out and rip some rubber in the weeds. We've been getting bites pretty much every day, ripping rubber, and uh, just have not got them to the boat, which is really a bummer. So let's try that out. That's a mid size Medusa Eagle pattern. Um, it's a show color, but you can find it on his website here and there. It is a rather popular color. And as you can see, this was a fresh Medusa, but uh, it has been chowed multiple times. So hopefully we just catch a fish. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yep. All right, coming at you. <laughs> we got one. We got one. Right before the storm. <laughs> I know. That's what I figured. This is gonna be good. Just a little guy with a cool boat side rubber eat. Sweet. Well, guys, hooks are cheap. It was kind of close to her gill, so just snipped it all over the place and got all the barbs out of her. Um, beautiful, beautiful little muskie. Alrighty, here we go. <laughs> Let's uh, take a look at this fish. Um, beautiful muskie here, just ripping deuces. And uh, gosh, look at the bars on her. That is so cool. Let's get her back. She is fired up, ready to go. Yeah, I think you're good. Sweet. That was cool. All right, that took about 25 minutes. Never happens that way with my dad and I. So <laughs> we'll take it. We got a storm kind of moving in. Uh, hopefully they get much bigger than that though. Alrighty, like I said, hooks are cheap. Just sharpened up this hook. It's a three odd hook. Love my lake woods. I got all my tools in one spot. Got my split rings pliers here. Get this back rolling. Hooks are cheap, muskies are not. That was such a cool boat side eat. Oh my gosh. Now we just need about 10 more inches on that one. We'll be good. You gonna be ripping rubber soon here with me? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I think the top water. Too the top far. water, all right. Let's, let's roll with the top water. Right. We got some awesome clouds here. 
I'm kind of liking that idea. All right, have my dad throw a chopper XL. Awesome. That's what everyone says, top water before storm. See if this happens. <laughs> Well, folks, just to give you guys an update, uh, we got stormed off about 40 minutes ago and uh, got two more bites on Medusas, but just, I don't know, could have been pike. I uh, just switched to this fresh one, brand new bait, just sliced there. Never got any weight on it. You take a look at uh, my eagle one. It's kind of, uh, kind of done for at the moment, lost the tail. This is about to fall off. This one's about to fall off. I've had this bait for about a week and a half, two weeks, and uh, it just got chewed. But unfortunately, only one fish on it. Just how it goes sometimes on rubber. Um, definitely a hard bait to get fish hooked on, but definitely some success on this. And of course, I only have one of them. So I guess I need more of those. Um, but yeah, just got chewed on this natural perch color. So does color matter? I don't know. Just go with what you're confident with. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice musky. Nice musky. I was... Nice musky. Oh, it's a big gator. Oh, that was a giant gator. Gosh. I was just clicking the button to, the thing had it in his mouth for so long. That was an upper 30 size gator. Oh my gosh. What was that? That's why uh, just reel in if you're gonna mess with something cause sometimes you'll get bit. Oh, uh, that's so wrong. I was clicking the GoPro button and then I click it back on and my rod's loaded up with a freaking giant Northwoods gator. Yeah, they don't get much bigger than that. Oh, he was all scarred up. Scarred up? Yeah, that was a crazy looking fish. I would have loved to grab that one. Wow. Unreal. That was a big one. Ugh. All right. Well, <laughs> moving on, I guess. Well, folks, we're going to wrap it down here. Um, just the one muskie today. We get out 30 minutes, catch a muskie, and then nothing happens, really. Would have been cool to catch that gator. Uh, that was a upper, you know, upper 30 size class gator. Uh, had a couple other bites on the Medusas, but uh, yeah. Just want to show you at the beginning of the video, just some of the colors I'll be, I've been throwing the last couple of weeks. Um, more natural colors, blacks, yellows. Uh, perch color style baits and uh, they've been getting chewed just not getting the fish in the boat love chaos tackle uh it's been <laughs> it's been good to me using medusas and whatnot uh some of my biggest fish have been caught on their lures i mean most of my fish over 50 have been caught on uh on chaos tackle products so just want to show you uh some of the new baits i got this year and um but yeah dad's making a couple more casts Gotta be one in here. Gotta be one in here, he says. <laughs> Unfortunately, beautiful weather. Just uh, did not get it done. But maybe, got a couple casts here. But uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please comment below how your season is going because uh, mine could be better, but started off with a bang, that's for sure, in Indiana. So can't complain. Catching some fish here and there, but no big ones. That's, uh, they are eluding us. So. <laughs> At least uh, Lee got that nice one the other day, so. What can you what can you do? Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.